We will be utilizing magazine images, acrylic paint, and napkins to complete this accordion journal. This is a new technique for me, and I'm excited to share it with you as we work through our next month of coffee cup prompts. Let me first introduce my channel. Let's pull that next prompt. As you know, over the past few months, at the beginning of each month, we pull out a prompt to utilize for the next four weeks. We're going to be working with magazine images. Let's get started. I pulled out just, a, I was looking for color, and I wanted something dark. So I pulled this page out of a Harper's Bazaar or a Vogue type magazine. I am going to practice some mamagami and break down the fibers of this magazine with a little bit of coconut oil and the combination of crumpling and opening up, crumpling and opening up. I am going to continue to do that. As you can see, I cut this magazine page in half. And as you do this process, your page gets smaller and smaller and softer and softer. And the image begins to fade away. So I'm flipping it over so you can see, the, you know, the back side of this was the lady's face, and as you can see, you're starting to not even tell it's there. Now we have completed that on both pieces or both halves of this magazine page. I have enough paper now to cover the front and back of this accordion book that I am creating. I am starting with a food packaging. Uh, I think this was oatmeal the instant oatmeal package, and I have cut the front and back cover into the dimension that I would like to utilize. And you can use whatever dimension you want, 5x5, five 6x6, by 3x5, five, six by six, by whatever works for you. Just be you. And cut it to, to the size that, that you prefer. So now that I have those cut, and ready to go. I've glued two of them together to create a little more strength. The one layer of the food packaging really wasn't sturdy enough to become a book cover. So I've glued them together, clipped them into place. I'm going to set those aside and let them dry. While those are drying, I have pulled out watercolor paper and cut it into a strip that meets the height of my cover. Now I am going to score to meet the width. So I am just scoring on my particular piece every four inches. And folding. So I want that peak and mountain fold to create my accordion and I've cut two pieces to the height and I'm going to score both pieces to the width of the book. Now that leaves me left over with two pieces that are short. I could do one of two things. I could cut this off and glue the two end pieces together of each, or I have decided to glue it, the short piece together, and I'm going to come back and cut that short piece in half. So now I have my little accordion fold book, and right there is where that short piece, and I'll take my scissors and just cut that in half, and then that can fold both ways. I, you know, normally I wouldn't do this in, in an accordion book. I'd make it a, just a 
solid accordion fold, but I kind of like the idea of having a couple of little flaps inside or small pages that just created something different, a little bit of interest, if you will. So now that the covers have dried, let's pull out that mamagami paper or that paper that we have practiced that mamagami technique on. Magazine page number one utilized in this project. And let's glue that to the cover. Now in previous videos when I've done the mamagami, I was asked the question, what happens if the oil, you know, if the oil's not dry? Well, that oil does eventually dry. I've not had any issues with it adhering. I've had no repercussions from the coconut oil in the magazine page at all. So just to answer that question right now, don't worry if it's still a little bit damp, that's okay because we're going to go over it with glue and water mixture, one, and two, it will be dry before we put the book together. By the time we get our accordion fold piece completed, these magazine pages that are on the cover will be dry to the touch for sure. Just gluing that down like you would glue a gift. And I really like the way this mamagami presents itself as a cover. I did it on a composition journal. I'll link that up above. I have done it, um, oh gosh, a number of different times to, to create collage pieces, collage fodder. I have used it in collage. I've used it in book covers. It is really an interesting way to utilize something that you have at hand always to create an art piece. So this is how that looks. You can see the kind of gold of that piece of jewelry that was displayed on the page and it creates a great looking cover. So now for the inside, I want to also use magazine pages for my background on my accordion journal. These all came out of a restoration hardware catalog, and I pulled out all of their pages that were displaying um, hardware and lights because I'm looking for black, um, dark background or a darker background. I have cut all of these down to the size of my accordion fold, and I will do the same on, on the two little flaps. I want to go around each of these magazine cutouts and ink so that we don't have the white edge of that page shown. So we'll get that done. And then we'll come back and glue those into place. So. Now that they're all glued down, I'm taking the entire piece and going around the outside edge with the black ink to make sure that that watercolor paper that I used to create my accordion fold is not showing on the edges. And let's just take a look. Make sure our cover fits. It does. So we can move forward. So there's, there's our covers. I think they look good. I'm really happy with how that mamagami looked. And this is the background or the inside of our accordion piece. Now I want to mute that background down. And I've chosen to do that with nail polish remover. Just a acetone based nail polish remover. The non-acetone does work. The acetone is just faster. So I always try to pick up the acetone based. I am putting that on a dry baby wipe 
and just rubbing it across that magazine page. And I will continue to do that until you cannot distinguish the images on these pages. So there we go. We are now just about complete with all of those. And as you can see, you're, we're getting that gray muted background out of the magazine images glued down to the watercolor paper. I have pulled these two napkins out and that is what I'm going to use for decoration here. And now I'm looking for some faces and I have a Lands End catalog and I have cut out just a number of faces that I am going to glue down onto my pages. So there we go with lady number one. Lady number two. And I actually like the size of this particular image. I think it's easier to work with. So if I were to do this project over again, I would choose my faces by face size. And the larger the face size, the easier it was to manipulate. And by manipulate, I'll show you soon what we're going to do. And I promised you that this project uses magazine pages, napkins, and acrylic paint. And of course, a little glue and water. So we have all of those together. And glued down. Probably could have trimmed some of this out, but we're we've we've already gone this far. We might as well continue. And this is the last lady on this side because that last piece is going to be. I, I take that back. We need one more lady because the cover will be glued to the the other side of this back piece. So we need a lady on every panel on the front. And then when we flip it over, we will keep the uh, back panels clear. So now to kind of add some embellishment to the ladies, I wanted to take a napkin and cut the elements out of the napkin to glue down and put on their hats and around their face just to give it a little bit of interest and to, of course, I've pulled the plies apart on the napkin. I'm taking a paintbrush and wetting it in water around the flower that I want to pull out. And that will come out very easily once wetted. Well, maybe, maybe it does. No, it does. It does come out easy, I promise. And now I'm going to glue that right on her hat and just jazz up her hat a bit. And I will go through this entire accordion book and on every page, every lady, I'm going to add some type of element or elements to just spruce them up a little bit.
And now that we have her decorated up with the napkin, I am going to paint over. And I will be painting over with the acrylic paint each of these faces, which is going to give these magazine images a more painterly look and will appear as though they were hand painted or hand illustrated on the page. So let's get started with just the paint over. I've chosen three colors. I'm using the violet, the raw umber, and a yellow ochre. And I have some parchment laid out there to kind of mix in and blend. Let's just paint away and I will meet you when that is complete. I have those all painted now, and it's time to attend to these two little flaps that I left in the center of this accordion book. I have covered them with the Mod Podge-like substance glue and water mixture, and I'm putting down that napkin over the top of them. And I'll just flip that over and use so that the napkin covers the edge. I'll flip that over and just glue on the other side. I'll cut off the excess. And just grab a exacto. I could have used a ruler and, and torn it up against the edge of that ruler, but we'll continue as is. Mod Podge those to fold that over, get another coat on the top. And we'll let that dry.
Now, once that's dry, I'm taking my X-Acto and just cutting straight through the center there to open those two up. And I cut the excess off of the edges with the X-Acto as well. Now, you could have used scissors, but the X-Acto was handy. So now I have this little folding piece that comes over one way or the other, and I thought, you know, as I move along, I may put some quotes here. I haven't as yet, but that I think would be a great place to put a couple of quotations. Since I have pictures of all women, it would be a great spot for a strong woman type quote. And now it's time to turn this over and decorate the back. Um, not going to to put you through that, but I will let you know that I'm picking out some some pictures and I will be gluing those to the back so we can at least at least get that done. Let me grab a sip of coffee and take a deep breath and we'll turn this over and start on the other side. So there are the images that I cut out of that catalog. We'll glue those down. And do the same thing that we did on the front. Now that I have everything painted, I have come back to each image with this uh, gel pen that is white. And I'm just adding some accents maybe some tears down the face or, you know, some dots. And we'll do that on both sides. And I think we're getting a pretty decent looking accordion going here. You know, this was this has been a fun project. This paint over of these magazine images, I think, has a lot of merit. I've never done it before. This is the first time I've ever done a paint over. I saw Carrie Gibson do it, oh gosh, it must have been three or four months ago on her channel. And um, I think I've seen a couple of other channels do it as well, but but Carrie is the one that I remember doing it. And I'll, I'll put a link to her channel down below because she is a watercolor artist that does a lot of junk journaling type things as well. I believe she has two channels now, one for her just the watercolor and one for all of the things she makes. And she does some really cool stuff and is very talented. So I will link her channel down below. If you're not already a subscriber of hers, I would strongly recommend it. And now to kind of finish it off, I have laid down some black paint and pulled out a bottle cap and I'm coming back into each page and hitting that with a little circle that is being created by that bottle cap. And the luster wax, the gold luster wax, this can be found on my website. If you go to my Amazon page on my website, everything that I use is there. I do make a small commission on it. Your price doesn't go up. It just benefits me. And if you enjoy my content, that would be lovely. If you would purchase off of my Amazon page, I would appreciate that greatly. But this Lester Wax, I do have listed there. And I love this stuff. It's a Ranger product. And now I'm taking that same luster wax and I'm lightly rubbing it over the outside of this book. And it is picking up all of the peaks on that mamagami. I'm happy with the way this cover turned out. I hope you like it as well. 
I think the gold luster definitely added a nice touch to that dark mamagami folded paper or treated paper, paper treated magazine, paper treated with the mamagami effect would probably be the best way to put that. So we will attach these covers. I'm just taking a look at how I want them to go. And that will be a nice size little accordion fold booklet. I have some sari silk that I want to attach to the back. And then that will come on both sides and tie in a little bow on the top. So let's get that sari silk adhered. I'm just kind of trying to determine how much of it I need. So we'll cut that to that size right now. We'll just eyeball it. And I'm pulling out some painter's tape just to glue that or to position that or adhere that into place. And then I have some glitter glue that I will come back and glue that front blank spot, the spot on that accordion that we did not decorate, will be glued right here to the back. Or the back spot, I guess. And I think I do make that mistake. I think I glue, glue the front first, and I went the back. So see, I, I, I'm gluing this as though it's a, the front cover, and I realize it, so I pull it back up and flip that over and glue it in position to be the back cover. And we'll put some clips on that to make sure that it adheres well and is connected everywhere it needs to be connected. And then while that is drying, I'll turn this over and glue the front cover on. And we'll clip that into place as well. And I am going to let that sit and let that dry. And then I will come back and remove the clips and we will have a finished piece. So I let it set overnight. And now it is good. The glue is good and dry. I've cleaned my desktop off. Come back the following morning. And everything is positioned as I went. And it looks like we have a pretty... Interesting little accordion booklet. Now, I can continue to decorate this. As I said before, I might go back in and add some quotes. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do, but we have the bones together for this accordion book with the paint over and the magazine pages. So remember, we did the background was a magazine page. The front cover is a magazine page that we did the Mamagami technique on. And all of the images were pulled out of a Lands Inn catalog. So I hope you are enjoying the Copy Cut prompts. This is week one of magazine pages. And we will continue on for three more weeks doing magazine pages every Sunday. So come back, join us, post your work. If you are playing along, put your images over on my Facebook group, Two Old Crows Mixed Media, and tag them with coffee cup prompts. See you there. Bye for now.